What's going on, my horror friends? This is Tommy Knock of the Horror Guy coming at you. And today is Who You Got? Critters 2, the main course, versus Gremlins 2, the new batch. Yes. You know, say what you will about these franchises or even these movies in particular. I had a ball watching both of these, rewatching these over the weekend, getting ready for this video. An absolute ball. Now, I know with Critters especially, there's a drop-off after 2. Some say with 2 itself. Some say Critters 2 was a big drop-off from the original. I'm not one of those people. I, I don't think it was better than the first one. I think the part 1 is definitely better. But this was a, this was a fun ride. Um, much lower budget, though, than Gremlins 2. <laughs> Gremlins 2, guys, um, had a anywhere from a 40 to $50 million budget. Warner Brothers, you know, it's Warner Brothers. But they barely, they didn't make, they didn't do well, guys. Gremlins 2 only brought in like $42 million. Huge drop off from the original. That's probably why we never got a Gremlins 3. Yeah, it didn't do as well as they thought it would. It really didn't. That's too bad. Critters 2, it, it barely made back its money. Not even. $4 million budget, and they made like $3.8 million, some change. Yeah. But they kept on putting out these direct video sequels of Critters, and the production just dropped off. I don't remember Critters 2 even playing at the movie theater. I remember walking to my movie, th walking to my video store, my local uh, video store, I guess small town, and I saw Critters 2. I'm like, what? What? Like, I don't. I think I maybe heard about it in Fangora, or the Gore Zone magazines, but I didn't think it'd be out so soon. I was excited, Critters 2. So. I'm going to look at this in seven different categories. We're going to look at the trailer. We're going to look at the poster, the plot, the characters, the setting, the kills, the effects, and which one did better than the other. It's out of seven categories. There will not be a tie in this one. I thought there could be a tie, so I added last minute the trailer. So that's the first thing we're going to get to, guys. Let's get to the trailer. I'm going to show a trailer for both of these, and I'm just going to kind of like think which one was better. You know, um, it's going to be hard. I'm going to try to put myself into when I was a kid again. Like, which one uh, which one did a better job of the trailer? Which one gets your blood boiling? Which one makes you want to watch it more? Yeah, I don't know. You know, it, that's kind of how I'm going with this. So let's first look at Critters 2, the main course trailer. Let's, let's take a look at this. Transform. Noisier, pushier. They're turning this peaceful little town. Definitely a lot of fun. Okay, so there's the Critters 2 trailer. Now, I will say of the two, of Critters 2 and Gremlins 2, I'll get this a little bit later too. Critters is more horror. Like, they're both horror comedies per se, but, and people do die in these. They do. But Critters 1 and 2 is it's way more horror for me. Um, it has more horror elements than Gremlins. Where Gremlins is more, especially 2, is more Looney Tunes. I hate to say that because of the Warner Brothers connection, but it's true. Um, fair trailer, fair trailer. But let's look at the Gremlins 2 trailer. Let's check this one out. Okay, so, looking at Critters 2 trailer, and looking at the Gremlins 2 trailer, Gremlins 2 trailer definitely, man, they focus a lot on the water, <laughs> um, but side by side, the trailer that gets my blood boiling a little bit more, just a little bit more, it's Gremlins 2, just by a smidge, just by a smidge, um, but that Critters 2 trailer, you know, it, it, it's definitely action-packed, we're gonna get ex explosions, which we did in the first one. But Gremlins 2 has got my interest peaked more. It just peaked my interest just a little bit more. So Gremlins 2 gets the point for the trailer. Okay. Now let's look at the posters. The, the box art. You know, when you go to the movies or you rent the movie, you know, you look at it and which one kind of gets you going first. So look, let's look at the Critters 2 one. And you know what you're getting. Okay. You see a you see a critter on the cover. It's pretty simple. You know, he's he's there on the number two. It's part two. We get it. Um now let's look at the Gremlins 2 poster. This one's um 
So, it's confusing because, I mean, if you don't know the plot, and you already know what Gremlins is, you're looking at it, it's an office setting, okay? Gizmo's hiding in a desk. you got a gremlin who is sitting behind in the chair, looking like a professional gremlin. It's brain, we know that, but... Um, and then you look outside, you see the lightning and stuff. It's cool, it's different. Um, but... I'm going with Critters 2 on the poster, guys. I think the Gremlins 2 cover art of this one. I know there's different versions and stuff like that, but this is the one I remember seeing at the movie theater when I was a kid, and the Critters 2 one is the one I remember when you first rent the movie. Gremlins 2 poster is kind of boring. I'm sorry, I just... Um, if you ha if you incorporated more of the Gremlins in there, all the different... Th then again, you don't want to spoil too much of it. But if you saw more of the personalities, all the different kind of Gremlins in there, I don't know. I think it's kind of boring. Critters 2 is simple, but you know what you're getting with it. Critters 2 gets the point. Uh, plot. Okay, here we go. <laughs> plot. There is a there is a plot with these movies. Let's, let's try to break it down. Critters 2. Um, it takes place a couple years after the first one. It's back in Kansas. Same town. It's the same town as the first one. Rover's Bend. Bradley Brown, Scott Grimes, returns back to visit his grandma. Um, but this is what the problem is. That this local guy, this the, the jerk of the movie, he's trying to sell these eggs he found. And he pawns them off to this old guy that, you know, sells stuff. And they're the critter eggs. They don't know what kind of eggs they are. They're the critter eggs from the from the end of the first movie. If you remember, the end of the first movie, you think it's all over with. But in the Browns uh, farm, in the barn, I should say, there's the eggs. So you're like, oh, here we go. There's going to be a sequel. And a couple of years later, we got it. So... So Bradley's grandmother thinks they're East. They're going to use them for Easter eggs. So she brings them to the local church. They hide all the eggs for Easter egg hunt. That's another thing about this, guys. Critters 2 is an Easter movie. It has an Easter theme, which is different. How many horror movies have an Easter theme? Not too heavily. It's not that much Easter, you know, focused on. But it is. It's it's a, it's a, it's, if you want to watch it, it's definitely a horror movie you can watch on Easter. There's not that many you can say that you can watch on Easter. This is one of them. So that's kind of a cool aspect, I thought. The Easter connection. So, yeah. So then the eggs break. And then you got critters on the loose in the town once again. There you go. Chaos ensues. Gremlins 2. Um, the old man from the first one, he dies. He still has Gizmo. Um, Gizmo, the, the uh, Clamp, the guy named Clamp, he wants to by the store he's building all these uh businesses and buildings and he's you know he's basically he's donald trump without them saying so this is 1990 donald trump was around then but this was subtly low um they're basically saying this is like donald trump kind of wannabe and it's kind of creepy because at the end i believe something about they made a comment about him running for president someday he's like president i'm like oh my god this is donald trump holy shit but the, the great john glover plays him um, so these nerdy scientists guys from the clamp building, the, the, there's a lab, they find Gizmo, they bring him back to the lab, they run tests, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Billy finds Gizmo again in that building and there's a repairman fixing the water fountain and the water gets on Gizmo and chaos ensues. <laughs> Just like in Gritters 2, chaos ensues and more gremlins are born. But there's a little bit of difference in this one. The most colorful gremlins you can think of, they get better. Whereas Critters 2, it's still the basic Critters, and that's okay. I don't need crazy Critters all the time with different personalities and, and, and stuff like that. Like, we don't need one giant Critter. That'd be stupid. Um, I like the ball thing. But that's the plot of Gremlins 2. It takes place in New York City, all in that building. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go for the plot, though. I'm going to go with Gremlins 2 on this one. I'm going to go with Gremlins 2, just because it's so different from the first one. I like that. Where Critters 2, it's, it's not really not that different. It's same town. It's still Kansas. Same surroundings. It's still, you know, and, that, and that's fine. That's fine. But you got to give it to Gremlins 2 a little bit for originality, at least making it so much different from the first one. Gremlins, Gremlins the first one, was in a small town, just like Critters was. Christmas. This is not Christmas this time. I like it. Plot goes to Gremlins 2. Yes. Um, characters. The characters in the movie. Critters 2. I like... Because now you got Scott Grimes. You got, you know... You got Bradley Brown. He's back. And you got Billy. He's back. 
for Gremlins 2. So that's important. So, you know, that's very important for sequels. And at least for me, when I was a kid, I at least I got to have some one character that's the original. So you still got Billy and you still got uh, Bradley. So Critters 2, you know, the only thing is M. Emmett Walsh did not return as Sheriff Harv. They couldn't. He refused, didn't want to do it. So they got Barry Corbin, who was fine. He was fine. M. Emmett Walsh is a great actor. I wish they could have brought him back, but he didn't want to do it. You had Megan in there. You had Ugg. You know, the bounty hunters are back. Charlie's back. Yep. And then, yeah, uh, that's very important. The bounty hunters. They're the heart and soul of these movies, I think. And then in Gremlins 2, if the characters, again, you have Billy and Kate are back from the first one. You got Mr. Clamp, you know, the Donald Trump guy. <laughs> That's why I call him. Um, Robert Prosky plays uh, a Dracula looking guy. Though so this building that um, Clamp owns is also a television station. And he runs a, basically like a Billy Bob kind of thing where he talks about horror movies. But he's dressed like uh, uh, Dracula. No one's in his his time slot got moved to like three thirty in the morning. He's depressed. He wants a new career change. He always wanted to be a reporter. So at the end of the movie, look what happens. He ends up being a reporter. It's pretty cool. Um, Christopher Lee. Christopher Lee plays Doctor Catheter. <laughs> this evil scientist guy. Perfect role for him. Love Christopher Lee. And he even got a cameo. You got a cameo by Hulkamania himself, the brother Hulk Hogan. Um, I remember seeing that scene at the movie theater where the projector breaks for like, a, I'm not kidding you guys. I thought it was real. I'm like sitting there. I'm like, okay, oh shit. Did the, did the projector break? And then you see the gremlins, the shadows. You're like, oh shit. You're in, you're in on the joke now. You love little shit like that. You love little shit like that, which is why gremlins two gets the point for characters. Yes, but it's close. It's close. Just more likable characters. Now the setting, let's get to the setting again. Critters two. Kansas, Grover's Bend, small town, simple. You got stores. You got the hungry heifer restaurant where everyone keeps to go to. Uh, it, it, it's it's simple. It's simple, and that's what I like. Gremlins two. The setting is New York City. I'm sorry, but it's like it's always New York City. Why is this? Everyone goes to New York City. I get it. it's the big. It's the it's the, it's the best city. I get it. I live in New York, but it's always New York, and it just gets a little old. And it takes place in the building, the huge building. It's high tech. It's it's very it's futuristic. Um, but when it comes to movies like this, give maybe because I'm the country boy, give me the country setting over the city any day like this. Again, though, Gremlins two, mad props making it different. I applaud that, and I do. That's why I gave you the point earlier. But when it comes to the actual setting that I enjoy more, it's Critters two. It's the country. It's Kansas. I just like it more. The Kills. The Kills. Okay, so these kind of movies, it's a little different. Critters 2, mad props. Hey, didn't have a lot of kills. Neither did Gremlins 2. It's not what these movies are about. It's more fun. It's more f kind of family-oriented, you know? But this kill in, in um, uh, Critters 2 right here, the sheriff dresses up as the Easter Bunny for the kids, and he's outside, and then the Critters get him right here. And then the part that's, you know, then he crashes through. These This family are in Easter. It's Easter Sunday. They're having service. And he crashes through the window. His dead body. There's blood. It's like, damn, that's, hey, not bad. And then earlier, you know, um, the old man that sold the eggs in the beginning. You know, the, I mean, that's, hey, you get something. They killed his dog. Where Gremlins 2 kills are, the only one I really, really remember that stands out was, it was kind of, was Christopher Lee. He died. He was electrocuted. And then you see some others in the background. You know, you see some gremlins like on top of people's bodies and they're like running around um, in, in, the, in the building. And you're just assuming that they die. It's silly fun. But when it comes to, the, in, in the end, the kills goes to Critters 2, hands down. Also, a little interesting tidbit. I don't have a picture of this. Tom McLaughlin, the director of Friday 13th Part 6, he's in this movie. Yeah, he plays like a guard he plays like one of the local guys and he's acting as a guard in front of the church. Tom McLaughlin's in it. Yeah. And the last category is effects. The effects, again, like the Critters 2 I showed you. The best part was the ball, the giant ball of Critters going over the country guy and then killing him, making him a skeleton. That was pretty cool. Um, you know, the old guy that I showed you with his face like that and the Critters themselves. 
pretty impressive. Uh, but then you have Gremlins 2, you know, and you have all those different kind of Gremlins, you know. Damn. You, you know, you have the, the girl Gremlin. You have the, the vegetable guy with the vegetables. You have the spider. You have the bat, the gargoyle, uh, the spazzy one. Um, just a lot of fun. I got it. And then the end where they killed them all, they use the lightning. There's a light. Yes, guys, there is a lightning gremlin. Yes, electricity. A gremlin made of electricity. And he's in the phone. So then they get them all wet. They put the window down, the sun, and then he fries them all. And they see all that goo. But the girl gremlin lived, which tells you she can probably reproduce. The girl gremlin lived, guys. She lived. So there's definitely going to be a Gremlins 3 someday. I'm not holding my breath. I think they'll probably reboot the whole goddamn thing and ruin it. That's where I think they're going to go with it. I hate to say it. Uh, the effects. Uh, by a smidge, I'm giving it to Gremlins 2. By a smidge. So, by my count, a 4 to 3. It was that close. Gremlins 2 wins it. Who I got? Who I got? I got Gremlins 2, guys. I got Gremlins 2, but it's close. It is very close. Critters 2 is a lot of fun. For Gremlins 2 is a lot of fun. They're they're neck and neck. They're, they're close. Not so much with the first one. Gremlins, to me, is iconic. It's very iconic. It's a good Christmas movie. It's a good... That's why I didn't do Gremlins versus Critters, the first one. I already did a, a Gremlins review around Christmas time a couple months ago. I didn't want to do it again. And I really I always said to myself, I love these sequels. They're so much fun. And I wanted to know who, which one was better head to head. And Gremlins 2 takes it this time, but not by much. Not by much. I got more episodes of this. Please comment. Who, what do you like more and why? Gremlins 2, Critters 2. Give me your opinion. All right, guys. Tommy Knocker Horror Guy. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you again soon. Take it easy, guys.